What's going on everyone? So hopefully you were able to check out the last build series video about installing the floor and the ceiling. Now before we get any farther, I wanna talk about the layout. Because to me, the layout was super important and I really enjoyed thinking about it. And the awesome thing about these DIY vans is you can make them as extravagant as you want or as simple as you want. So if you just wanna put the bare bones in your van, just what you need and just hit the road, maybe this isn't the right video for you, but if you enjoy thinking things through and wanna make a really nice living space, hang out for a little bit and we'll talk through some things. By no means do I claim to be an expert here, but I do have a little bit of experience remodeling a house and designing the way the room was gonna feel and where everything was gonna go in there and I kind of carried those concepts over to the van. In my experience, layout is super important because even small little details really just give it a different feel. The whole room, the whole space. So really thinking through those things can really make a world of difference in your build, especially in such a small space. I'll give you a couple examples real quick. So take a look at my kitchen and living room setup. So you'll notice the wood behind the bed and the couch is actually set back just a little bit farther than the subway tile in the kitchen area. And then if you look above, the cabinets extend farther out above the bed and the couch than they do in the kitchen. So the lighting underneath the cabinet follows the outside edge of the cabinets even when it jets out above the bed and the couch so that the depth of the light changes between the kitchen and the bed. So it almost just gives the bedroom and living room a different feeling than the kitchen does. And that's kind of what I had in mind in doing that is making two different room feels. Also, if you look at the cabinets, just how they change in depth and size gives it almost more of a kitchen feel. And then you walk into the living room or sleeping area. Now that might sound kind of silly because it's just the back of a van, but I really like the way it feels and it just gives it almost two different moods from one end of the van to the other. So lighting and layout, two things that are really important in laying out your DIY van and just how you wanna make the overall space feel. I spent a lot of time in here when this thing was just empty, just scratching different ideas down on pieces of paper and thinking through things. So take your time if you wanna make a really nice feeling space and really think things through. All right, the window that I installed right there. I got that online from a company called Panther RV Products. It was about $232 and that's with shipping included. And I can't stress enough, just make sure you're really happy with where you wanna put your window or your roof vent or all that kind of stuff before you start cutting holes because that kind of stuff is really hard to change. I'll give you a quick example of how I thought through putting in the window. So looking at the window from my point of view from about my height, I wanted to be able to see out the window without the cabinets really blocking my view. So that came into play in building the cabinets and also where I wanted to put the window. And it turned out quite nice because the edge of the cabinets is just above the level of the window so I can still see out the window while I'm standing right next to the counter. Let me show you what I got going on today. Today I am working on putting in my window that is going to be going over the uh, kitchen area or should I say kitchenette. So. Uh, the other day I got an uh, angle grinder and I came in here and I went ahead and ground out these ribs that are through here to make space for it so I got a nice flat surface here. And now I've got everything measured up and marked out on here and now I'm getting ready to cut. Um, definitely a little bit nervous to cut this hole but I uh, measured quite a few times and I'm fairly confident that I'll get it right the first shot because that's my only option so check it out first cut I made fit perfectly Let's show you from the inside here real quick functions properly. Very happy with it. So, next project is going to be the roof vent up on top. So, kind of the same concept, figuring out where I want the hole, making sure my measurements are on, and cutting and installing it. So, let's get to work. I've officially cut two holes in my van in one day. The second hole, is you guessed it the roof vent so which i have outside i can show you Ooh, it's right oh. well can't really see it oh it's right there 
It's a horrible camera angle, but I tried anyway. Uh, super easy, 14 by 14 inch hole. I uh, just kind of line it up where I wanted it, and it fit great. Um, one thing to note, and I would recommend to anybody doing this, is make sure to use a fine metal jigsaw blade, as they have a lot more teeth, and helps make a smoother cut, and not uh, mess up your cuts when it's kind of crucial to get it perfect. So yeah, there's a little tip, which everybody on YouTube already tells you, but I thought I'd tell you too. It's been a very productive day, I would say, for me out here working on the van. Um, the roof vent is in. It looks good. I like the build quality. It feels sturdy. Um, also, it's nice because it has... Um, I don't even know what I was going to say. It has something. Anyway. Something important or cool. Wow, that was embarrassing. I remember what I was going to say though. With this vent, you can keep the top open even when it's raining and the water doesn't come in, which is super nice. And I would say max air is the way to go with these roof vents. You can get a few other types, but most of them you can't have open when it's raining, which I find to be super handy. Max air makes a few different models. One just has a white top. Mine has a black top that's actually see-through, so it's kind of like a skylight. And then there's one with a remote, and then this one you just control with buttons on the ceiling. So I hope this video was helpful for you and thinking through your layout and it's where you're going to start installing things. And if you have any questions for me or other ideas that I could have done differently in my van, drop them in the comments below. I'm always trying to learn new things.